131. 131 samples. 131. Flushing at 40? What was that? Wait a minute. Back that up. There was something big in the Atalanta cam. I don't think it was the tether. <laughs> I looked away for a second and there were tentacles. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Herx tentacles? Herx we'll tentacles. Never know. We'll never know. <laughs> yeah, Trevor, I think Anybody we're just going to continue to contour along this edge. Okay. And when you feel comfortable, we're in different rock type here. It looks like it could be a uh, volcanic reef. So if you see any place you want to be able to get a rock that uh, will fit. Marenko, do we have a, uh, a spot? a rock left we do in the starboard bow box okay so, so i think that's the only rock i'm going to want on this watch okay well uh we can start a ship move right now if you'd like sure yeah, i mean so or if there's something here to grab if you want you can i can do it. grab something here sure. sure let's find something here okay. we can still get a ship move going if you want yeah um, so do we want to keep contouring or want to go to the line kind of I believe we want to go s pretty much straight south-ish and follow this contour, is that right? Yep, that sounds good. Let's do a 50 meter step, please. And what rock would you like to sample? Uh, Actually, hold off on the on the step, please. Hold off. Um, can you come down in Delta, please? Roger, coming down on Delta. I mean, are, are any of these available to get? Or do you think they're all welded in or, or down here, maybe? I don't know. You looking for a big one, small one? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, a small one's preferred to yeah. fit into the starboard A alpha. I'm really just looking for rock type here. Yeah, okay. Well, we could poke around a bit. No, no. I mean, because we, we brushed on that. That looks pretty light colored and that's underneath us. So that's what I'm looking to see. So this is good. Okay, cool. Any, anything you can get here. Sounds good. Do you want to do it, Annabelle? Sure. That one. Yeah. Is that I'm going to try putting it in my lap. Yeah, Roger. If we can get this one, I want to cut it open. Can you circle again which rock we'd like? Uh, either that one or that one. Great, thank you. It's, I think that that's preferred one up there. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, roger that. That's Stephanie's rock. <laughs> Woo! One of these? Uh, circle it one more time, please. Right here. Sorry, right there. See that? Yeah, I see it. Eh? Ah, uh, the one above that. That one, yeah. Good. Ooh. Double wow. rocks. Is that oh. two? Yeah, that's two. You nice. want both? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> two rocks are better than one. It's okay with Marenke. Yep. If they can both fit in A, that's fine with that's a, me. That's a rockin' job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. Thank you. Oh. This chunk's You're falling off, but that's all right. She's it. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. <laughs> so remember that thing we talked about keeping it nice and close and tucked in? 
you don't need to worry about which way is up, which is convenient, but you do need to think about the other smashable rocks on the on the wall there. Roger. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go around starboard side. Confirm there's nothing floaty in the starboard side? Nothing floaty. Wonderful. Love that. Love that for us. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Good work. Let me know when you're ready for a sample salvo. Roger. Ready for sample salvo? Okay. Just coming into view there. Turn her around. Hello? Are we coming around? Oh, no. Nice, there you go. Once you get set up, I'll open the box, but I'll wait until then. Oh. A little bit higher over it. Yeah, I think we're going to go for A, Alpha. Is yes, that correct? Please. So that's the forward inboard one. So again, I'll wait till you're set up a bit and I'm not going to open the box. Ish. Sure. And you're going to eventually need wrist uh, flopping to the right there. Oh. But for now, I'll sample tray out and you can get it lined up. Let's see if we bonk any push cores. Trying to get her out Just of the way. Just cleared it. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. You see Alpha here? We're going for the close one here. And. Because the jaws are so long, you will need to wrist right in order to actually get in there. Eh. Maybe. Meaning shouldering left and wristing right. Yeah, that kind of idea, yeah. You need to do more of that, though. Yeah. Oh. Bonk. Maybe. That's that will go in B, I think. Oh wait, which one's alpha? Is it it's not the middle one, it's the far one. Alpha is this one. Oh, okay. Close inboard. <laughs> Close inboard. Yeah. Roger. Is that good? Probably. A you can open the jaws more. slowly. Oh pff, perfect. Or, slowly. Or just get it I don't know. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right, nice job. Both of those fell Great. into A. Thank you very much. And there you have it, folks. Annabelle's second and third rock. Together is one. Up. What number up, is that? Up. That's 132. 132? <laughs> yeah. Roger. No. Jaws? Can we yeah, the last rock did such an incredible job. We're in bonus time now, so. Oh, great. And what's really cool, if you look in the uh, cinema cam, those little crosses on the rock oh. in the upper right-hand corner, that's go. not something I would expect to see in a lava flow. So I really think that's one of the things convincing me that we're in uh, reef material now. Is this um, talus? Uh, no, it's, it could just be a poked up reef that's been beat oh. up. I'm not, I mean, uh, some of the things that fell down, you could call talus, but mm -hmm. it's not like a very large talus ramp. Oh. But, I mean, it's, this stuff looks kind of beat up a little bit, so it really could have been near the surface one time. But yeah, we can start a move now. Can we go back Thanks. to the ROV salvo? Uh, Annabelle chat rewinded the stream and they said maybe jellyfish tentacles, something little there. Oh, okay, Roger. Thank you, chat. Speed is All right. Craft secured. Let's go. Thank you. 
Can I get bubble on porch, please? Roger, bubble on porch. Thank you. All right, now that we're our usual 15 minutes in, um, welcome to the 8 to 12 watch. We are currently at a depth of about 2,100 meters, 2,100 meters. Um, we're at the about the top, right, of this uh, isolated guillot that we've been exploring for the past uh, eight hours or so. Um, I'm Stephanie Wanger, Natural Science and Children's Book Illustrator, coming to you as the Science Communication Fellow aboard the Nautilus. Ooh, that was painful. Um, front or back row, if you want to introduce yourselves for the watch. Good morning, I'm Rob Colony. I'm watch lead for the OG 8 to 12 watch. Ooh, the OG. And uh, I'm also the geology lead for the expedition. And I'm from the University of Rhode Island. Next. Next. Oh, Paula's muted. Hello, I'm Maranka Harris. I'm in the data seat. I take care of data logging and sample collection and organizing where those samples go on HERC when we grab them. I'm a science manager in training on board the EV Nautilus and I am also a PhD student at the University of Victoria up in Canada on Vancouver Island when I'm not on the boat. Thanks. Uh, we're going to go to front row right now. Right now. Right now. You're very quiet. Can you move your mic a little closer? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me loud and clear now? Yeah. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Elias Adidion. I am a navigator and also a mapper. And um, I'm currently a graduate student at the University of New Hampshire, majoring in ocean engineering and ocean mapping. Thank you. I'm Trevor, currently sitting in Herc's seat, ROV lead on this cruise, and thankful to have a really good team. Yay! 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 Um, I'm Annabelle. I'm the intern, ROV intern for this cruise. I'm sitting at Atlanta seat. Um, and yeah, go ROV team, and and go science team, and go navigation team, and go uh, communications team, and video team. And everybody, beefs. go everybody. Oh, yeah. and go beeps. And go beeps. Yeah, <laughs> that's important too. Um, go everybody. <laughs> Just go. 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 Where are we going to? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question for you. <laughs> this is why we have a navigator. <laughs> go navigator. <laughs> Dave or Paula can introduce themselves now. Hi all, I'm Paula Rodriguez. I'm uh, part of the science team aboard of the EV Nautilus and out of the Nautilus I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the MCC. I'm over here. <laughs> uh, Dave Robertson, lead video engineer on this, uh, just uh, settling in and solving a couple of problems here. And then we have a guest video Tim Burbank is here. Tim has been sailing on Nautilus since he was a small child <laughs> and uh, <laughs> said, hey Dave, what's it like to uh, be in the video chair? And uh, I said, I don't know, let's find out. So Tim's sitting in. Go ahead, Tim. Yep, my you normal role here bit. is data engineering. Okay. I Thank keep you. the computers happy and make mm -hmm. sure sensor data gets logged and archived, um, but trying to catch up on context for how other things work. Little known fact, Tim was actually born on the Nautilus. <laughs> that is not true, but it's closer to true than I would like. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim, what do you feel about doing a zoom on this coral? I like zooms. Go for it.
We got some other little sticky looking ones in the background and too. And that is full zoom. Cool. Thank you, Tim. Is that a bamboo? You think? I guess so. I don't, I don't see, see a note, but it looks like notes. zooming out. Roger. He's a natural. Oh, this is fun terrain for the cinema cam. Oh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. So, Rob, can you kind of explain what you meant by reef material? Cool. Yeah, I, I think what happens when this seamount was shallower, uh, when it was initially erupted or shortly thereafter, I think it was close to the sea surface, and so it was sure. close enough that uh, sure. coral reefs could form, like you see in the Great Barrier Reef area. Mm -hmm. So these coral reefs were forming, and they're all made of uh, carbonate material. Uh, calcium carbonate and uh, so I think that's what we see here and then it's now sunk down to a depth of uh, 2100 meters so over time it's sunk down and uh, been buried which is uh, interesting we that's haven't cool. seen this continuously at a lot of these other geos yeah so. so sea level rise or mountain sinking it's a little bit of both it's mostly a sea mount sinking where does it sink to well, it's a natural, it, when ocean crust is created, the average depth is about 2,500 meters. And over time, it sinks down to about 5,000, uh, 6,000 meters. Oh. As it uh, gets older, cools, and overall becomes more dense, it uh, sinks. So the theory is that flat top geodes are uh, corals, and yeah, you can do another. Or you know, they used to be seashore, they used to be above the water, but now they're not anymore, right? And exactly. They're flat from wave erosion? Yeah. So think of what, you know, what at Johnson Atoll, that's kind of maybe what it looked like at some point. Same, same, same. But we don't really see a, a really thick layer of uh, corals here, or mm -hmm. at least not that we can see right now. There may be some other processes going on. But at Johnson Atoll, there's like, you know, hundreds of meters of these reef. Really? So, yeah. We were here last year looking at it. And maybe in two more dives, we'll be down in that area, but not in the reef material, but looking at the Johnson Atoll region again. And that, you mean, by that, you mean like closer to the island? Closer to the island, but probably not shallow enough to see reef material. Okay. All right, looks like we're starting to see a little bit of movement on Atalanta. Can you zoom out on this a bit, please? To get that 50 meter grid spacing. Yeah, the, perfect. The Thank lack you. of corals here is really surprising. I really thought there'd be a lot of it here, up on the edge. What would it look like? The coral? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about the coral that we see normally. Oh, like not yeah. old coral that's dead. But I mean, when you saw those cross pieces in that in the cinema cam before. I and mean, that's kind of telling me there's a different sort of texture going on. It's probably made up of different material. They could be like old uh, coral stalks or or pieces that have been uh, fossilized, part of the reef. Would we not know until cutting it open? That's probably you know our, our best bet. I mean, when you cut it open, because everything's been coated in manganese here, and uh, there's some places where it looked like you almost had tennis size ball nodules that were welded together on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, everything's covered in manganese here, whether it be a basalt or limestone reef material. So need to cut it open. That's why it's kind of interesting when we, uh, you know, bumped into the rock and then, you know, Annabelle did a little crushing of the rock. You could actually see some of the orange material, which I think would be lighter colored, uh, unless it's a uh, uh, hyaloclastite, which is a volcanic breccia. That's where we have to open it up, look at the texture and, uh, one test test one test is to put hydrogen chloride on it or some sort of acid or even vinegar to see if it fizzes. That's a telltale oh. if it's calcium carbonate. We do have vinegar. That's Can you come down on Delta, please. Roger, coming down on Delta. Chat says Shoot there's a cursor fish the in the cinema cam. Roger. <laughs> 
<laughs> the old midwater cursor fish. It's been swimming in the same spot for yeah. a long time. I've just been following it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, there is two words of the day for everyone. Oh, did we ever figure out what the other word was yet, uh, last time? Yeah. Um, Rob guessed both of them. Oh, of course he did. I, it, won't, I won't talk this time. It was worm tube and um, ripple, mm -hmm. ripples. Right. Um, but there's two this time. Shrimp. Is it boitroidal? Nope. Mm -hmm. um, one is a... Uh, like a single word term that we use to identify something. And then the other is a two word term that we sometimes see. Both biology related. Well, we already sampled a mushroom coral. Black that? coral? Notes. What Nodes. did you say? Nodes? Nodes. Oh, Elias got the one. <laughs> wow. What was yes, it? That was so quick. Nodes. Well, that, oh. already, that was said earlier. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't have the word in my head then. Ah. But Elias gets it. I, d I declare. All right. You declare. I do declare. Is that a squishy. fish or a squishy? Let's, Tim, can you zoom on the squishy, please? Annabelle, can you turn on downlight, please? Gotcha. Great squishy. What is that? What is it? Gross. <laughs> Detritus. Detritus. Yum. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Detritus. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know which way the current's going. Yeah. There's value in all things, including Detritus. Eel. Yeah, we got a, something up here that... What's... Oh, oh, yeah. It's an eel, right? Is that a fish? Eel fish? Why do they always hang out with their yeah. heads down? All right, zoom, Oh, I guess because they're looking for tasty snacks. Allosaur? It's another one of those sorcerer eels, I think. Oh. Yeah. Maybe they did something That's they're embarrassed about. It's got a silly about. little face. It does got a silly little face. Is that full, is that full zoom? That is almost full zoom. Okay. That is full zoom. Okay. This one doesn't have any spots on it. Maybe a little. Social reels can't change their spots, you know? <laughs> when we zoomed in on the last one in the first dive, it looked like it had almost like a, a very lightly colored camo pattern. All right, thanks, Tim. Come what? Would you put this one in the ombre category? No. Oh, why? Okay. Variegated? Maybe variegated. Variegated. It has interesting pattern of rocks. I'm not sure if it's basaltic or oh, shallows or if it's more reef material. It's interesting. It's kind of chunky. Yeah. Chad thinks that eel looks like a water type Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this sediment. So he's going up. Here you go, Stephanie. Here's your talus. Here's the talus. Yeah, I think this is more reef material. You can see some of those sort of odd sticks in the rocks. Odd sticks in the rocks? So it has more holes or like waffle-ish texture, especially the large one right in the middle here. That's a new description. Waffle-ish? I was inspired by breakfast. <laughs> well, we do have pancake volcanoes, too. We're going to curl around that contour. Okay, sounds good. Are we going to just not go to waypoint nine? Is that correct? No, no, just keep contouring here. Okay. okay. What, 
Approximately what time do you think we need to uh, pop up? Uh, uh, probably 10. Let me do some math on that, but approximately okay. 10. Please let's do the same, same, same. Thanks. I hope people are not wondering what's the same, same, same. <laughs> It's same distance, same bearing, and same speed. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. It's clear and concise. Perfect. But we want to be. Yeah. I think ten fifteen. Okay. Like finishing up what we're doing at 10.10 and like definitely off bottom by 10.15. Okay, cool. So we got a little less than two hours. Because what, what I'm thinking I might want to do is like the last half hour, just head into the middle of the sink over the top and just kind of see what we see as we go across the flat area. But that's just the last half hour. We'll keep contouring until then. Sure, yeah. About how far below the peak of this uh, ridge are we, do you think? Trying to zoom out to have a feel for it. What was your question again? About how far below the the top of this cliff do you think we are, or the slope? Just this slope. cliff or the whole? Yeah, just, just this one right now. I don't know if you can tell by the sonar. Not high enough to, no. Okay, because I may want to try to come up a little shallower. All right. To see what's cool on the edge, because it doesn't look like there's that much down here biology-wise. So you do care about biology. So I love biology. West biology West was my first love. I guess, yeah. Okay. And, then, and then she went away. Um, no more biology. Left me with rocks. And then you learned to love the rocks. I do love the rocks. I saw a thing on the internet a while ago that was like, can you lick the science? Dot com. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you lick the science? What does that mean? I mean, like geology, you, you can... You can Some, lick a rock. Sometimes that's one of the things we do to, to see what the rock type is. Okay. If it's sediment, we might, you know, bite into a little bit to Get see. Get a little crunchy crunch? Yeah. You, you can kind of tell whether it's a claystone or a mudstone or just by the grittiness. So Ooh. you willingly chew on what sand? Says? Yeah. <laughs> you know how many spiders you eat a year not knowing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you know what? Good, because that means they die. Hey. Hey. No spider love? No spider love. Oh. Except jumping spiders. I would like to have one as a pet someday. That, look at that little nugget here. This is really cool. Nice Want to zoom nugget. on that? That's yeah. Zoom on the nugget or on the coral? The on the coral. That's yeah, a yeah. big nugget. Yeah, look at these nuggets. Go ahead and zoom on the coral, please. What makes them a nugget? Uh, it looks like almost like a concretion sort of thing, but oh. they're big. I don't know what it is. Oh, zoom. Maybe Aqua Squatch is making them. <laughs> Hopefully. Is this Narella? Nobody knows. Deep Sea Hobbit Home. All right, thank you, Tim. Yeah, Dave, uh, Chris Kelly's asking for uh, the high pack on uh, three. Yeah, we'll do. Thanks. Oh, Chris Kelly's watching. Hello, Chris. Uh, let's see. Let's see. One. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced these are coral reef. Yeah, they're a lot more textured. Yeah, you, you see how the, the waviness like that? Yeah. Some sort of, that's, that's a nice shot there. And there's a coral there. Do you want that? Do you want to see? Just look at it. Did you another bamboo. That's another bamboo. You want to zoom on that? We can have yeah. a zoom. Go ahead, Tim. That's bamboo, yeah. Octo coral. Oh. And branch bamboo. I'm not going to say the N word again. No. For this watch. It's dead to me. Notes? Yeah, if I don't have a chance to win, why would I say it? There's another word. Is it also nodes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> nodes. No. Nodes. Um, no, it's a double word. Nody nodes. Not even close. Two <laughs> anemone. Was that a guess or did you see what? That's her guess. Oh, no. Squirrel lobster. No. no. Uh, cup coral? Nope. Octocoral? Did you copy that, um, Steph? No, I didn't hear you. Octocoral? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. It's not like an official term. It's one of our fun terms. Squishy, squishy. No. <laughs> that was actually what I was just going to guess. <laughs> <laughs> just beat me to it. I don't see any here yet. No squishy squishies? No, the, the word. But it, I don't uh, see any squishy squishies either. Professional sponge? No. But that's oh, good. that's a good one. Yeah, that's a really that's good, a good guess. Yeah. Yeah. Squad a spot. No. Mm. No. Squiggly wiggly? <laughs> Nopey wopey. <laughs> <laughs> Vent fact. No. Oh. Okay. But now that it's mentioned, <laughs> <laughs> Ronke looks so tired today. It's morning. I, can, I, I understand. Can give that. you a vent fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk about something else while I think of a vent fact. Well, okay. I, I look, one thing to look. You can see these uh, baseball or soft tennis ball sized nodules. Mm -hmm. The boy trio. Earlier. Yeah, I mean, it's like mega. Mega boy trio? Yeah, they, they're, they're just interesting. That, Very boisterous. Uh, we saw them earlier, too. Much bigger than all the other. Can we get a boy baseball zoom, seen. please? So Go ahead, Tim. I mean, this almost looks like more traditional nodules that have been Sorry, welded together. Again. Video zoom in, please. They create this nodule pavement. Nodule pavement. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh interesting. That'd be a great band name. Yeah, <laughs> great thanks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Look in the cinema cam how different this rock is from the ones beside it. Speed same. Ready for your event fact? Yes. Roger, okay. thank you. Did you know that vents are found? Yeah, so we are moving a bit uh, westward now. Vents are found all over the world. So even in the Arctic Ocean, that means that there are vents underneath ice sheets up north. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Ooh. Thank that's you. Is sea cucumber up here? <laughs> okay, I didn't copy that. What did you say? I Sorry. said vents are found all over the ocean, even in the Arctic. So there are hydrothermal vents that exist under sheet flows of ice. They're not sheet flows. I'm thinking of rocks right now, but <laughs> under sheets of ice in the Arctic Ocean. Oh, that's cool. What about yeah. sea pig? Is that the word? No. Mm -hmm. No, but... That's a uh, sea cucumber. That's a cool chunk of a reef, I think, right there. Reef chunk. Reef chunk. No, that's not the word, but that's and, a good one. J just for the record, there is a band called Pavement. So. <laughs> I don't think there's one called Reef Chunk, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me check that again. Reef Chunk Punk. Cool. So 
in the cam shot with all the beach I, behind it. I do think I see the word, though. There is a reef band, though. Dead sponge? Close. Spongy debris. Dead. Yes, oh, Annabelle no. got it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now no. we have nothing to look forward yeah. to in the next <laughs> exactly. two hours. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tim, can you zoom in on the sticker winning thing, please? Right? That looks like spongy debris That's to me. I debris. think so, yeah. Elias nice. and Annabelle, get the stickers. Nice. <laughs> I like the uh, the 12 to 4 watts are talking the uh, about the headless sponges, calling them Ichabods. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that, that was Michael's uh, contribution. I don't get it. Like Ichabod <laughs> Crane? Like yeah. From the, um, the, headless the Headless Horseman? horseman yeah. You can come wide. Thanks. Ooh, a hole. Yeah. This is definitely carbonate. I was going to say, this looks really reefy. I feel like reefs have those fun nooks and crannies. Yep. So what is it? It. So these are all like the the, the dead coral skeletons yep. that kind of yep. got covered in the manganese. Exactly. You know, they die, they fall down, and more corals grow on top of them. Mm -hmm. Spooky. It's like a coral graveyard. An Ooh. ancient coral graveyard. Oh, there's That's a big... Zombies. Yeah. A big anemone thing. Is that a percentage? Yeah, All right, Tim, you can zoom in on this thing, right. please. Whoa. Oh, it's another one of those giant ones. The, uh, and there's this mushy-gushy squishy. One in the moment. upper left. Tuna kit looking thing. Yeah. I'm getting good at this. Amazing. That looks like the same one we saw before, too. It's a rich really really yeah. giant sea anemone. Yeah, I'm impressed, Stephanie. You picked up these terms and names really quickly. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Everyone's squishy thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. And to the left, there's a little tunicate too, right there. Little tunicate. Zoom in on that, please, Tim. Cute. Little Easter Island head. Look is at this? That that I, shot. Yeah, I think that's the same one we saw. Is this the mystery one? Ooh, is it? Ooh, no. No? The mystery one had tentacles and it was in sad sediment. And it is was something one? different. Oh. But it looks very similar though. Except minus the tentacles. So we are guessing if it's. Alright, thank you. The mystery one is uh, Malus Gora Tunicate. Look at the shape of this rock. Yeah. Beautiful. Really neat. So once the, if at this point, have the coral, has the old coral reef turned into rock? Yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, pretty much instantly once everything's dead and, it, and it's, it's rock. I mean, even, even when they're alive, they're basically rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything is rock. <laughs> Oh, we got a microglyph. Oh, that's cool. They don't highlight these rockscapes enough in our like picture highlights. And for anyone wondering about those Arctic vents, or I'm circling back to the vents forcefully, <laughs> <laughs> they were discovered in 2014. So pretty vents new. In general, were discovered in 1977, and these ones were only discovered about 10 years ago. So we had no idea that they existed in the colder oceans like that before this discovery in 2014. I got a vent question. Go ahead. Are there any freshwater? bodies that have vents in them? Mm. Not to my knowledge, no, because most of vents occur along the mid-ocean ridges, so you need that tectonic plate activity, which you could probably get in freshwater, but I don't think there are any freshwater areas that would go deep enough. So I think it's only mm. in the ocean. Well, Rather. I wonder if Af Africa, Central Africa does the African rift system. You have the Cameroon that may have uh, Can we zoom in here, eruptions. Please? I'm not sure if they've studied the light, but they've had some major sulfate or sulfur. I, I don't think that they 
fresh water would contain the chemicals that you need to build the All chimneys. Right. Thank you. But we've also learned that vents can be underground, so who knows? Of what to do. Here's a sponge. Can we zoom on it? Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Tim. Deck frog looks awfully sad today. Little hydra on it. I think some too. Sure. Do you copy it? Yeah, Just sure. Bolasoma. Thank you. There is right, chat you fact. Um, there's hydrothermal type activity. I can't find if it's a vent or not in the Sacramento River. Me. Someone's the mic is screaming. Yeah. Would that be more of a safe. sort of underwater geyser situation, though? Or oh. I'm, uh, I'm trying to look it up. Roger. Everybody close their mics for a second, please. Okay, you can come back on SPL. Not sure what's causing that. If two people are all have mo open mics and lean close to each other, that can cause it. Though I haven't seen that happen before now. It's kind of strange. Are you going to come up a bit? Roger. Coming up on Delta. Uh -huh. Maybe these corals don't like to grow on these old corals like this. It's kind of like a living in a cemetery sort of thing. Wow. Oh, also Yellowstone Lake has a hydrothermal system. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Ooh, what's this? Some? Haven't seen one of these yet. Oh, yeah. Can we zoom in here, please? Yeah. Chris, it's gorgeous. Yes. You see your buddy? Nope. No buddies? No buddies. Oh, nobody's home. No buddies, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Looks like we're getting to the top of the wall here. Okay, just just follow along. Seems like there's a little more action here. We have tiny black corals. Uh -oh. My dad in the chat asked about what about the bottom of Crater Lake. I don't know if they've ever like done any dives down to the bottom of Crater Lake. Can we get a zoom on this thing, please? This is a star crinoid. Uh, we have collected in the previous watch a very similar one. Okay. This one is interesting. It's got. It's, co it's covered it's got by, yes. by uh, hydros. Oh, Probably. yeah, okay. Are those barnacles down there, too? Probably not so healthy. Okay, thank you. Come wide. The cave. Ooh, the cave. <laughs> you gotta look in there, don't you? Oh, you bet I do. <laughs> do you want me to turn down light on? I got it. Oh, you got it. It just ends. You can see it in the cinema cam. It never ends. 
doesn't really go in deep. You're right, it doesn't. There's something to the left. Something to the left. Um, maybe down slightly. What are you talking about the percentage down below? The yeah, is that, a, is that a star? Oh, that guy, yeah. Oh. Yeah, some sort of percentage. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I think I should go. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, these rocks have a different texture to them, too, now. Bless you. Well, I, that almost looks like a contact between basalt and limestone a little, but... We have beautiful sponges here. Mm -hmm. They're the parade? Yeah. Or... Don't be afraid. But the white dot... Can we zoom in the white dot, please? We got a current right here, falling over the slope. <laughs> it's struggling. <laughs> Another ball is so mellow. He's dancing like Paula. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. You can see those large uh, nodules too. Is this another candidella? Norella? Um, Primnoid? Primnoid, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. Ooh. Mine. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. Seems so. Primnoid. One buddy on there. And uh, Ophiroid. Ophiroid. So 10, ce ten okay, centimeter you. cannonballs. Narella or Candidella. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Tim. I'm going to go a little bit ahead, then I'm going to ask for a DDL reset. It's kind of way behind. Oh, there's a floaty thing in the cinema camera. Oh, we just missed it. Shrimp. What's the shrimp tally after this dive? Um, I think, I don't know if they're like... It's infinite <laughs> plus 15. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if like the things under other are part of the shrimp count or not. Oh, then... <laughs> so with the other ones, 5, 10, 15, 20, 34. Plus infinity. That's a lot. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So many shrimp. I mean, when we were down in Jarvis, we saw something like this. It would be covered in corals, if you remember. Hmm. Would it be shallower, though? Oh, yeah. It was much shallower. I mean, just, you know, less than 500 meters of where we were seeing these things. But look how large those nuggets are. I wonder if they're coral heads that were left over or something. or. Those things are huge. Dinosaur eggs. Aqua squatch eggs? What's on this sponge? What's it? Yeah. Let's, let's figure out. That's an interesting association there. All right. Go ahead, please, Tim.
hydrates. Can you get hydrates that are all stocked like that? Yeah. I didn't even know Sometimes that. they grow on dead uh, coral as well. And you have barnacles as well in the yes, upper five, part. Five zero meters being in one five zero degrees. Same speed. Thank you. The sponge is a Tretopleura species. One is five it zero dead? Degrees. I'm seeing white. But I don't think it's doing too well. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what's causing it. I thought it was uh, maybe Tim and I leaning too close, but uh, we had our mics off. Look at that crack. In Ichabod. Ooh, look at that shelf. This can one, we move the nose? Uh, back away from the wall next time, please? Oh yeah, you yeah, did, yeah, you did that. Yeah, thanks. Wonderful. Mm. Nice cliff. We have negative point seven wraps on the six eight. We sure do. Is that some coral I'm seeing? Oh, That's west. Which one? Once we like head left more. Mm. Oh yeah, look at those. Nice. Oh look, these beautiful colonies. Mm -hmm. We can zoom on these colonies as we go by there, Tim. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think this is the famous Rami Lagordia militaris. Could be. Bonk. And we have, if we can zoom in the golden coral a little bit up. Come wide, please, Tim. Here. Uh, where? Sorry. Well, is it? More is to the right now. Above that red dot. Is it that here? One? Yeah. There it is. Okay. All right. Zoom in there, please. Okay, thanks. Come on. Lots of those little mushroom corals. Yeah, they seem to be like sporadically everywhere. Yeah, so yeah, that no almost looks like a that. pillow flow on top. Go ahead, yeah. Sorry, Tim, I meant uh, to Elias. You can come wide, please. Raj, I wasn't paying attention. Wow. Yeah, the farthest southwest one is probably right. Yeah, this one is. Yeah. I think just yeah, Maraki, can you mark this as a okay. yeah. a four or something? Because thank you. What would you like me to describe? Well, it's just that there it looks like lava tubes on top of uh, the basalt. I mean, on top of the reef. Okay. What would that mean? Well, it means it's the uh, the reef was formed, and there's probably a later stage volcanism. That's one of the uh, the working ideas we're working on. 
so that it was an island or close to an island, close to an atoll, yeah. and formed a reef, and then it sank and exploded, or? Well, I mean, it may be a, a later stage of volcanism. So what we're finding is that some of these are uh, the flat top seamounts. They don't always have the reef material on the top, uh -huh. which you'd expect. They see volcanics. And so we're wondering is if it's a, a volcano, and then you get a reef on top that gives the flat area. And then there's a later stage of volcanism that covers everything. Sorry, folks, I have no idea what's causing that. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what this is. That's volcano, volcanic on top of that. Oh, I think there was a fish below. Do you mind if I mess with the Atalanta lights a little bit, video? Go cool, redhead. It's all you. This is great scenery, Trevor. This is great. It's really fantastic terrain. I think I'm in a little uh, rift here. I'm gonna look back Shrimp. to the, well, Might as well look up here first and then look at that Atalanta view. Shrimp. How about a bonk here? <laughs> Not quite. I might look back to the right here. Yeah, chat, we're aware there's audio feedback. We're kind of trying to figure out what's going on, but we're not sure. Can we zoom here? Yeah. We certainly can. Uh, uh, okay, go ahead, please, Tim. Oof. Are there squats on there? Yeah. It would be very difficult to get those, Trevor. Uh, uh, medium difficult. Come wide, please. Want to try? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's find out. There was also like a very like an enemy looking thing in the crack. Yeah. Which was kind of cool. Can you set me up for slurp, please, Annabelle? Roger. Set you up for slurp. All the things we do. There's some red egg masses there. You, there. you see? Oh, egg masses? Yeah. Oh, there's a fish. This, this is like everything happening. <laughs> and 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 marine forward. snow. No, this Bubble is a marine craft, blizzard. <laughs> Bubble and craft. Spongy Roger. debris. Ronke, what jar do we want? Number four. Roger. Jar number four mm. is ready. I might not be able to get it, but we're going to try our darndest here. Diggity darn. And you can leave Slurp secure for now. Roger. Okay, zoom in please, video. And uh, slurp to 40 or 50 percent. Where is the spot? On the, le on the right. Is it 50? On the right. Oh, this thing? Yes. Can you zoom in a bit more? You got it? Oh, it's hanging on. Oh, oh, oh. we got it. Oh. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Come wide, please. Perfect. What were those red dots on the coral? I don't know. That were was uh, I wonder about. Could they have been like the eating the coral eating squishies? Uh, Steve says this is a uh, uh, neck sack. 
Mm. So you can do yeah. whatever you think is best with that slurp. Roger. Uh, gonna take care of Atalanta for a moment here. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll stop moving All right. Ah, uh, sure. So, Rob, at what rate do the seamounts and guillotes sink? Uh, it depends on the age of the crust it was erupted on. So basically the ocean seafloor sinks is the square root of its age. So let's say if it's erupted on a three million or three million year old or a nine million year old crust, uh, three times three fifty, it's it would drop about a thousand meters in three thousand in three million Finish years. Flushing. Slurp secure. All right. So it'd drop a kilometer in, a, in three million years. But as the if the eruptions occur on older and older list seafloor age, the uh, it drops a little yeah, more slowly. And there's also the effect that the uh, the eruption causes three, the area three, to reset three, its uh, three, thermal character. All right, thank you. So it actually sinks pretty quickly. And if these things, uh, there's also a flexural aspect of it too. So actually within a million years, all the relief could be, uh, could sink down quite a bit. Mm. You know, it, there's a bunch of different factors. Mm. But usually say, you know, let's say a kilometer every three million years, something like that. So very actually, slowly. Well, I mean, in geologic terms, it's fast. Oh. In, in, in my terms, you know, quite slowly. Coming down a little bit on Delta. All right, I'm coming oh. pretty fast up. Roger. Might end up working out. What's this yellow thing? This one? Sponges. Yeah. That's a Califacus. <coughs> Califacus. Yeah, because these look like lava flows up here. See the lava tubes? Mm -hmm. This is incredible. On top of the reefs. Is it not what you expected to see? Well, I mean, yes and no. I mean, this is one of the ideas we were floating is a possibility, but this is a really nice uh, indicator of uh, this sort of process that we, one of the models we were thinking about. Look, these patches of sand. A lot of spongy debris in the patches of sand. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the crack. <laughs> Trevor's just drawn to these. I'm hooked on them. Look at that long a piece one. of spongy debris. Well, there's like a wow. big cliff wow, coming beautiful. out. Whoa. Great Atlanta shot for some context here. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's a great shot of the lava tubes. And more lava tubes. Is the ferromanganese crust found all across the ocean floor or just at particular depths in certain places? Well, there it does like low oxygen areas in uh, these seamounts. It tends to accumulate a little faster. And there are areas where we have higher concentrations of manganese nodules on the abyssal floor. But uh, almost any time you see uh, an exposed rock uh, on the seafloor, it's going to be have some sort of manganese and crustacean on it. Just different areas have different uh, quantities and amounts. And it's usually see in the abyssal areas where there's a little lower sedimentation because we have very fast sedimentation. It kind of buries the nucleus, the ones that are nucleating. Can we use the dead corals to date eruptions? 
Uh, I'm not sure about that. Well, they've rockified. Well, I mean, there should be a way to, to date the corals. I'm not sure what the method is. If it's, it's probably too old here for radiocarbon. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if it has enough. You might be able to get an idea based on its uh, extinction and, and when it was abundant or if it does have some extinction. If you could identify the corals underneath and so you can kind of get an estimate of what the eruption is on top. But it might be better to have the uh, good potassium argon ages or argon argon ages of the uh, of the basalts if mm -hmm. they're pristine enough. Is it too old for carbon dating? Yeah, carbon dating has limitations to like le less than a 75,000 years, I think. Because huh. the decay rate is so fast. Right, right. Which is why it works so well when you're in the exactly. range. We got nuggets. We got nuggets. Nugs. Also, the, these spongy debris bamboozle me. They look like backbones with, with, with uh, ribs and stuff. Spiny debris? It looks like, yeah, it looks like spiny debris. We have the Do paparazzi you mean this one? in the control van. This one? Yeah. This yeah, they say about 50 to 60,000 years ago is the limit for uh, radiocarbon. Cool. Trevor, someone could write a dissertation on what you were seeing now, I think. Wow. Some of this stuff. Well, they better write into the chat and have me ask to or <laughs> ask me to zoom in on things that will help them. No, I just the the, the big z the big view for me is good. But uh, Paula can go in into any biology she wants. This is interesting. Can we zoom if here is if it's possible? Yep. Uh, okay. Give in please. Maybe I'll zoom. Another body that I would like to get if it's possible. Oh. All right, come on, please. It's so the little. This is a tetrapleura and a, poten a potential cirolani uh, isopod. Is that a sucky? Sucky one. Now are we gonna slurp yeah. it? Yeah, if it's possible, Trevor. Hey everyone. <laughs> Stephanie is getting some more coffee. I'm just gonna pop in for a minute. Hey Maddie. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. That was a cool little squishy thing we just saw. All right, Annabelle, do you wanna get the slurp out? Yeah. We're waiting on the ship a little bit pretty far ahead. Switching to all the slurpy settings. Yeah, you can get the craft and get the Oh. Out. And we'll be going for jar number five. I think I'm going to go for the table again this time. All right. They swim very well. So. Oh so be fast and efficient. Um, yeah, prob <laughs> probably. You may oh. need the, the net attachment. No guarantees about either of those things. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just stand by on the next Are we ready for project. that? Yep. I'm not landed yet because I'm still waiting on Atalanta, pretty far ahead, so we'll get this out while I still can't land, and then I'll land after. Roger that. So I'll go for it now. I don't know, there's a duck back there. <laughs> Oopsie. Annabelle's working here, we don't say duck. 
It's not a duck thing. Yeah. Watch that blue strap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it in there, didn't I? I'm back. Oh my gosh, Dude, it's dead. right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is a good time to practice. The, I think you're practicing where you go half close, not quite all the way. Make sure it's all lined up, and then go for the final close at the last second. Because if you're half close, you can stick it down nuzzle the blue thing away, and then finish the closing on the jars. There you go. Oh, there you go. Like that? Should work fine. Oh, boy. Okay, now just get it out in front and up a little bit. Let me lock those jaws once. Yeah, sec. absolutely. Once you get the slurp up a little bit and away from the porch rail, then I can land. And over to the right more. And yeah, just just up and like re oh. at the ready position. You know what I mean? Uh, sort of. Bring it closer to the camera, directly towards the Zeus. Keep going directly towards us. Yeah, right there is fine. Yeah. Okay, and you can just hold it there. Come into land. Try to come into land. <laughs> Bit steep here. Yeah. Hey, that sponge. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's a polyopagon in the distance. Oh man, this is not the best landing site. Okay, goodness gracious. What do we got going on here? The cinema cam, it's like sticking up this ridge. Hmm. There's a chance we won't be able to do this. Roger. You can try there, but I have to manually hold it. Okay, do you want me to turn on slurp? No, it's good. Go for it. We're going for the white thing. Do you have a little white dot? Uh, do we mind getting a bit Isopod? of a zoom on there? Go for it. It's up a little to the right. I'm as far right as I got. There it goes. Oh, no. no. I we saw something go in. No, we don't have it. Oh, no, it. you don't have it. Oh, oh, no. It's here. I'm absolutely. There we go. It's back. And down. Can I come down? At I least turn out the suction for a second. At least it's not as scared of us. Roger. <laughs> okay, just hold there. Hmm. Totally smashing up his sponge there. there. Oh, rascal. Try something different. Roger. No, I don't think we can get this. Do you want me to put it away? Yeah. Isopod lives to see another day. Hi, tiny tiny, the tiny the piece of sponge in there, but that's it. Can't do anything. Okay. Completely unable to do anything. So, um, Nav, can we put down 
number 134. Uh, can you just let it go, please? Just jaw release. And then push the blue so button on the arm. The, I should need that as cool now. Thank you. Point, sorry. The, yeah, the sponge, please. Yeah. I needed the, the hydraulics. hydraulics. You can just say small piece of white sponge. <laughs> I, have yeah. the, I have the ID. All right. All right. That's probably fine for storage. It's not my favorite, uh, but... The jaws are open. Yeah, we'll deal with it later. Roger. I gotta get, catch up. Yes, yeah, so I'll be moving the vessel now. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Meraki, is it possible to bother for one more sample here from Iraq? I gotta move. No, I mean, I mean just when we see yeah, these sorts of things again. A small one is possible. Yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I think. To my uh, to my dad listening, um, a fellow Oregonian, Lydia says, Crater Lake does have hydrothermal vents discovered by measuring heat flow. No one's dove on them. Um, explored in 87 and 89 by ROV and submersible. Mm. Typical bottom water temps of 3.7 Celsius, warmest temp of 18.9 Celsius at the bacterial mat sites. This step 50 meters, during 150 degrees, sip speed. Roger, thank you. I think there's a swimmy. Oh yeah, I mean, it might be an eel though. Hey, look at that. I'm looking. I'm oh, sorry, it's like it's up. above. It's in the cinema cam. My oh, bad. Roger. It's there like, it is. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Sorry, the cinema cam's like what's directly in front of me and I forget. Roger, yeah. No, I have it here, I just didn't see it. We can zoom on that, please, Tim. I feel like that's different from what we've seen before. Oh, I'm at the end of my leash, I can't do it. That's Sorry. My mouth was open. Is that the cusk? I don't think it's a cusk heel. <sighs> We're at a good spot if we can sample a rock if you'd like, but I think suction right now, this current minute, is a little too much hydraulic flow for the vehicle. So if you want a rock, just Yeah, let us if know. there's something in the back here. Yeah, we can try that. Um, is the ship moving? Yeah, it's just that it moving. Oh, it's just there it is. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think anywhere back in this region back here, it will work. Sounds good. So I think that's all on top of the, the lava flows. Roger.
And we're just looking for a small one, right? Yeah, please. A small one would be able to fit in F with the scoop of nodules. Roger. Is there already a scoop in a rock or just a scoop? Just a scoop. Okay. The scoop has nodules in the bag. Roger. Roger. Alright, I think we're getting to a point where we can sample Alright, uh, this first little area underneath the lasers, is that okay? Yeah, that sounds that's perfect. I was just going to circle that. What if we do the one that I'm going to paint with the lasers now? Oh, sure, that'd be good. I mean, okay. e you know, any one of those three there. Sure. I think the one to the left is too big, though. Yeah, okay. That's cute little lava tubes right in front of it, too, so... All right, probably can't reach that, so uh, go for it, Annabelle. Roger. Um, just going to make sure Adelant is happy. Yeah, I can do that, too. Oh. Might just be out of reach. We'll find out. Well, e even one of these down here might, if it's not too big, would work as well. If it's All right. I'm not sure if those are welded in or not. <laughs> what are we looking at? Well, you could either do this one or maybe one, one of those up there, either one. So you want us to still, to still um, to keep going down? Like, keep contouring? Me? No, Rob. Um, Rob, you copy that? I didn't hear that. No, what? Yeah, I said. You, so you want us to keep um, going down? Just keep contouring? Yeah, we'll just keep going along here until uh, for 15 more minutes, and then we'll head yeah, inland we, yeah, I think up over the top. We have about maybe 40 more minutes. Okay. So that's why I'm checking. So do you want us to? Start yeah, just just for the last half hour, we'll kind of scream into the middle. Okay. Okay.
It's moving. Good. And remember, you don't need to let the jaws open all the way. Roger. You open them halfway and kind of get over the rock and then do the final close. And of course, as you want, you can call for video zooms. Can I get a zoom? We got more if you want it, but that's about two thirds. It's like me trying to palm a basketball. <laughs> a slippery one. Get in there. Oh. Okay, I see what you mean by the halfway. Yeah. Eesh. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Yay. Nice. Now you can dunk it. <laughs> Egg shape. Oh, that's a pretty one. You think it's a good one? Yeah, it's got to have a baby dinosaur yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah. I really thought that was going to be welded. I did too. But I like the locations right near those little pillows that are coming down from the yeah, left. Yeah, I can zoom in a little more. Little tubes. Oops. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Okay, can we bring that over to the starboard side? Roger, can we get a zoom out? Coming wide. In my luck, it really will be a coconut. That would be amazing. That would be really funny. <laughs> Aged coconut milk. Would we eat coconut? it? You, you, you walk up to eat it. Okay, I'll eat it. All right. You're young and adventurous. <laughs> yeah. Can we get the sample salvo? Yeah. And confirm we're going to Foxtrot? Yep, confirmed. Okay, that's the aft outboard one. Let me know when you're ready. That's the big one. Big yeah. one, yep. Uh, I think I'm in a decent position here. The shoulder will not go red anymore. Oh. It's only wrist. Right. Oh, what am I doing? Let me get up. There you go. And the shoulder will not go up anymore either. There you go. Bunko, excellent. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Very good. And nice work on not just letting the jaws go and getting them all caught up in the push cords. He caught it and closed them again. That was good. Good touch. I'm learning. I'm learning how to keep them closed. Is yeah. that sample mm -hmm. 136 now? 136. 136. Roger. Uh, can we go back to the uh, dive salvo? That's a great shot of a location. Perfect. So does that mean we're headed to the flat? Not um, yet, maybe 10 more minutes in this direction. Is that a decent stow? All right, sure. Yeah. Roger. Craft secured. Roger. So Elias, after this, you know, the next step you're probably taking up over the into the middle. Due west or southwest or something like that. Yeah. Look at that current. We What's the current ometer read? Uh, approximately. You? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that metric? <laughs> yeah, Canadian. Steve says he'd like an eDNA here. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's pop one. Okay, I gotta get a little farther ahead and okay. then I can do it. Uh, don't worry about it.
take a down light on, please? Roger. Down light on. On, can I get Niskin cam? Are all the Niskins open right now? One is not, so we can go for two. Sure. Niskin cam. On. You should turn off starboard port light, please. Roger. Starboard port light's off. Okay, now we can have somebody watch the, mm -hmm. the camera. It popped. You're good. Thank you. Yes, can we step 5-0 meters during 270 degrees? Bubble on craft, please. Roger, bubble on craft. Roger, thank you. Would the strong current kind of mess with the eDNA, bringing stuff Is from like further away, or do we want that? <laughs> do we want what? Roger. So, if the current's really strong here, it could bring a lot a of lot like eDNA DNA. from another place. That's Does true. That well, uh, as far as I, is eDNA mm -hmm. from the community of this general side of the sea mount? Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. And even better because you would get more data. Do you want the starboard port back on? Uh, meh, yeah. All right. It's not good. It's another eel in the cinema cam. Oh, We're coming yeah. up to it. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Up from where Zeus is See looking. The shadows. We're gonna run there right it into is. it. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, it's a little mouth open. These are one Can of we my zoom favorites. Zoom in the mouth, please. thing stick out his nose. Wow. Oh. Stick his tongue out at us. Great shot. Those big goofy eyes. <laughs> Mike All in right. Ohio you, wants to know what you guys mean when you say sample salvo or dive salvo. Is that uh, a question for Tim? Maybe? I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Tim's busy. He's zooming it, focusing it. That sounds like a video engineer who sets up the router question. <laughs> 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 so we use a uh, routing switcher, uh, as, as we call it. It's uh, uh, a matrix switcher. All the video sources go into it, and then there are outputs. Any video source can go to any output. It's non-blocking. Uh, within the router, we program what are essentially macros. Uh, which do a number of takes to a number of destinations. So we send a bunch of sources to a bunch of destinations all at once. That's called a salvo. Uh, and in, uh, in particular, this routing switcher uh, also has the capability to do multi-viewers. Uh, and so we can do, um, we can set up, uh, here I'm gonna take a van camera and show you. Uh, van camera three. If you look at the main wall, it's divided up into blocks, uh, various smaller monitors. Those are actually big monitors. And then uh, the multi-viewers show you more than one picture, uh, a picture-in-picture -picture kind of operation. 
And uh, so we... Steve would like a zoom on this sponge, please. Which one, the right one or the left uh, one? The dish-shaped one. Dish-shaped. This one. Can we zoom in on the di satellite, satellite dish, please? Oof. So the Salvo sets up the, the multi-viewers, picks a, a layout, and then fills in all the uh, small pips in the uh, in the multi viewer and uh, we have a bunch of them set up for different things for launch recovery uh, um, sampling that kind of stuff so it just sets up a, a different viewing uh, squatty oh, there he is oh, squat. <laughs> it's a squat cradle well, we made sample this sponge. Is okay. Uh, come wide, please. You can hold the ship position. Thanks for that explanation, Dave. Oh, Certainly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Steve suggests sampling this sponge. No, okay. If it's possible. Can I put it in the forward bio box? Yes, you can. Okay. Can you turn on do down you light, please? Do you think okay. it's possible to get the immunidopsis as no. well? Uh, maybe, maybe we can slurp the immunidopsis and get a, a snip of the sponge. Uh, Which one's higher priority? Bleach, no? Sponge. Sponge, Roger. No, Ooh. he's going into his hole. Oh, it uh, is. We haven't seen the sponge yet, have Very we? currenty here, wow. Bleach, no? uh, Steve says this, the sponge is also um, a potential candidate for a slurp, because... Yeah, Roger. I don't know that I'll be able to slurp right now, but I'll try to see what I can do. Can you see good position? Oh. Thank you. Can you set me up for slurp, please, Annabelle? Roger, setting up for slurp. Slurp drone number six, please. Moving it to jar number six. What's behind door number six? Uh, hmm. Jar number six is ready? That's fine. Oh, right in the hole. How much slurp? Uh, zoom in, please. Let's get uh, good there. Let's get 50%. Oh. Oh. We 50% slurp? Yeah. Let's get uh, 80%. Got more hydraulic flow than I expected. 80% slurp? No, I don't think he's going to let go. <sighs> yeah. Okay, come out a little bit, please. Uh, Tim, yeah, good there. You can go back down to 40% slurp. Uh, 50. Down to 50% slurp. Steve is right, you could just slurp this sponge. Just a little up. off the top. Yeah. Like a, like a sponge haircut. Oh. Now what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not worth it. Okay, uh, come wide, please, full wide. And you can stop the slurp. Stop the slurp. It's like a milk mustache or something. <laughs> nope, it's oh, gone. there it goes. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, bubble on craft, please. Roger, bubble on craft. And uh, we can head in, inland whenever you want, or whatever that is. Or we are in, heading in inland. Gio. Yeah, we've started doing that. We okay. can do another ship move this now, please. This is 138, coming up on Delta. Okay. 138? Yep. Paul, oh, that squat has a nice home. Yeah, yeah. yeah very it safe. It even has like a cave it can hide in. Safe against natural predators I thought such the last as ROVs. Was one, did we see yeah. The last one was 137. That was the Niskin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. We can call ROV a natural predator. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just running away. Yep. Classic. All right. Did you just ask if the ROV was a natural predator? Yes. <laughs> It's exclusively made from things that come from the earth. So I feel like word has to have gotten out that we're around town, you know? Do you mind if I do my jar flushy 
Oh, oh. I was just working on it. Oh, awesome. Go, go for it. Uh, yeah, I got it there. You can flush. Flush in the jar. Can we do same, same, same? No, it's less than moving. Yeah, thank you. Very sedimenty. It's probably going to be for a while. Hmm. All right. No more flushing. Or there's a huge now rocker. Now that it's a wall. Yeah, <laughs> there's a wall. Ah. Just a wee little wall. Just a little fence. Let's take a, uh, let's investigate this set of a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, it's yeah. sediment. Yeah, some sand. Look at the cinema cam right now. It's just blown out. It's very funny. The wall. The wall. Great Pink Floyd this. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> we don't need no education. Oh, it's not that big of a wall. I thought it was a lot bigger. So we are just going westward now. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what time I said, but I'd like to be off bottom at 10:15. Uh, That's what you said. Cool, great. That means it math twice, and it was the same. I love when that happens. That's a nice road cut here to look at stuff. Look at this nice little channel for us. Yeah. yeah. I can't seem to find a way around this fence. You know. can't go up and I don't, I don't know how up. I'm going to get around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can go up. I'm just fooling. <laughs> <laughs> just following the road. <laughs> He's pulling on the tether. <laughs> Is the current strong up here? Yeah, it's not nothing. It's not overpowering. See that little sponge blown in the breeze? Ooh. Yeah, still what is this? volcanic What's here with this? pillows. Uh, black coral. Yeah, we can have, in a second, we can have a zoom on that, stand by. Uh, okay, go ahead, zoom, please. Ooh. Squat. A squat. What do you think? We can try it. Yeah. Come wide, please. 
Is this a really escapey one? No, I don't think so. Those are closely attached, so maybe. Uh, can you zoom in again one more time, actually? Let's see which side, which way is, which way is this little fella facing. All right, come wide, please. All right, Annabelle, you want to get the slurp out? Sure. Um. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready for you to get the slurp out, yeah, but don't don't slurp it yet. Okay. Slurp jar number seven. Roger. I don't know how she sees those things. Oh, the squats. Yeah, you got squat ray vision. It's got to be squat ray vision. <laughs> it's the only logical explanation. That's my superpower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, if that's what you want it to be. Squat ray vision is actually the name of my synth wave alter ego. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just call him Ray for short. <laughs> you don't need to grab the hockey puck, you can just grab the tube. Oh, Roger. Sorry. That's, you should try that again. Yeah, it's not looking great. Oh. Yeah, if you grab the black part of the tube, it'd be good. Down on it. Black, black and yellow, yeah. That's fine. That's one, three, five. And you All can right, call for zooms as you want them. What? Roger. Oh gosh, I don't know if it's locked or unlocked. It's locked. Okay. Uh, can I get a zoom on this uh, oh, situation? So, so what's one, three, six? Uh, I think we're ready for slurping. Oh, I see. Hey, here we go. Oh, okay. So I should delete that, right? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, it's one arm. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Mm. Mm. Bring it back to the right. Holding on. So you can pull some of that coral out of the tube. Nope. It's hanging on for dear life. Yeah. What? Spin the slurp nozzle. Maybe you can break off some of the tip of the coral, possibly. A moment. Eesh. Wow, this is it's a tenacious little thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, mini zeuses. Oh, there you go. That was me. Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta try something different here. Do you so wanna do a snip and slurp? That situation? would be maybe yeah, okay. easier. Can we get a zoom out on the Zeus? The 
Pascual is thinking, oh, the current <laughs> is so strong right now. <laughs> Are you good for a step and slurp or do you want me to do it? Um, can I try it? Yep. I don't know if I'll... You only have uh, about a minute. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you should do it. Okay. If there wasn't so much time pressure, I'd be all over it, but... Here you okay. go. Thanks. Alright, zoom in please. Nice try though. Good there. Oh, yeah, you got this little silly wrist mode. Oh sorry, yeah. should I have changed it back? No, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> What is going on here? What in tarnation? Oh. All right, come wide, please. Maybe if you can put it in the power box, that would be. You don't I want think to slurp them. Slurp them. Uh, if it's easier. Zoom in, please. And slurp's already on, so we're good. There we go. Wee. There you go. Good job. So good. All right, come full wide, Beautiful. please. You know, I applaud that squat. It really, it really hung on. It really stuck to it. Thank it's you still, guys. it's still on the coral. I was, I was wondering if uh, Annabelle had a squat license, though. Mm. <laughs> oh. So. And Can I have a permit for that? One three nine. One three nine. Yeah. All right. Uh, can Ready for a little suction yeah, flush? Yeah, go for it. Atalanta. <laughs> e. Chat wants to know how the rock nuggets form. <coughs> so do I. Well, the rock nuggets, the ones that we've been normally getting, previous cruises, they actually nucleate around uh, a piece of sand or a piece of rock or some organic matter. And then they just accumulate like a manganese encrustation, like they often do at uh, either precipitation or some sort of a hydrogenous uh, attachment as well. So is it not from erosion? Well, the, the initial pieces that fall off the same, same, that are, same. act as a nucleation are from erosion. Mm -hmm. But these are actually, uh, you know, polymetallics precipitating on onto existing uh, little pieces of debris. Mm -hmm. Are you still flushing? Yeah, I can stop the flush. Yeah, please. Look at these little pathways. Yeah. Interesting. think the Holothurians made it? Was that a question? Yeah, I'm just wondering. Maybe. Probably. Is it their highway system? We'll never know. All right, I'm going to sit here for a minute, and then we can do a reset. Right, Until we get that human to sediment translator. <laughs> <laughs> the language of the sand. I thought there'd be a lot more sediment here than there is. This is really funny. I think you said that for the last guillot, too. <laughs> well, uh, on the edges, I mean, when we go into the middle, it very quickly, it seems like it accumulates sediment. Where does the sediment come from? It's just pelagic, you know, uh, dead critters and dead critter 
fecal pellets dropping from above. But what about when it's the sandy stuff? For aminiferans as well. Yeah, they're the shells of the uh, the plankton, oh, okay. zooplankton. So it's not much rock. No. Uh, sand. Um, the only thing sand. that would be here would be uh, aeolian deposits or windblown sediments, typically from China in this part of the world. I love aeoli. But that accumulates very, very slowly. And that's where in the oligotrophic gyres, a little north of Hawaii, is where you have like a red clay region. We looked at it in the microscope the other day, and uh, me and it, well, Annabelle got a better picture of it than I did. It looked really cool. Yeah, it was just like little spheres. Yeah. Like little globes, like Globigerina. That's what they are, uh, more than likely. Yeah, maybe. I don't Form know. Ephra. Yeah, so, it, it was like sand, but if each grain of sand was a, like a little ball shape. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like those like rounded lentils. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of looked lentils. Like, it looked like lentils. That's a great way to describe like this. it. Mm, no, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Here, wait. I why did I got such terrible microscope pictures? That's not a talent of mine. Well, I think there's some pteropod shells in here too, but that's. That one is a Globigerina. Mm. There's like multiple hemispheres there, or spheres. Oh, the balance. I think that could be a pteropod. Cool. It's been Again, so to me, long lentils. since we've done a gauge check. Mm-hmm. Gonna go ahead and do one now. I didn't know they had tiny the shells. Yeah. Are they hard? Yeah. Oh no, last one we did was at 7.20. Whoops. Uh-oh. Oops. Right row. We're doing it now. Nearing the end of bottom time. Was that a gasp? And then we're gonna see cool stuff in the blue water, I'm pretty sure. Sharks. Like sharks? Is their name first shark? Do we do we settle on it? A name? Yeah. You said a name. I said Buford, but that's Buford. I liked Buford. Okay. But there was two of them. Okay. So Buford Betty Jean? That's what you want. No, it's up for debate. Whatever, not debate, but whatever people want to say. For more context, there was a uh, oceanic white tips circling the ship all yesterday. 